How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, River. Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. So do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Mm. Me too, River. I met a monk there. Kindly fellow, took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really, but he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Yeah. Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling. You girls actually appear to be... How are you? Marvelous. Thank you. Good.
Gary and Zoe. He got a life of an outlaw. Yes, if they only knew how boring it really is. your stuff unloaded thank you i put you in one of the upstairs bedrooms i thought that would be a little nicer for you i mean the place is a dump but we can survive here yes it's uh it's great if you love alligators and mosquitoes <laughs> exactly anyway it's left at the top of the stairs and head on to the end of the landing thank you You want to talk? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? <sighs> Perhaps. I'm so worried. I heard what you said about me. What? I said I heard what you said about me. Did you? Okay. I don't think it's very fair. Okay, okay Mr. Good Morgan. For you. you know, you're not so high and mighty and above everyone that you think you are. Whatever you say. He bloody well loves me, do you know? He bloody well does. Of course. Of course he does. What exactly are we talking about? Dang it! Damn all you! Hello, Damn good sir.
Who's there? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. Like, come down this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a, a thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. I'm Oh, it's quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, <laughs> this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war, <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. 
They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay? Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name. No, he knows we're here. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. But, Mr. Mueller, the Indian problem is not an urban problem, but a rural problem. And here in Saint Denis, we have problems of our own. I beg to differ, sir. It is not a rural problem, but a human problem, an American problem. We want to end this century yet more besmirched. Blood and guilt because of more sins? Do we wish to better ourselves? I hope the latter. Hello, yes, sir. Of course do I. But things are more complex in matters of man than in the heads of the intellectuals. Oh, <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, oh. cool off? Me. Come on, sleep it off. All right, okay, goddammit. it. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the park. Monsieur? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. 
Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! 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 My lord, that's fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Is your problem? Is there a room, Sarah? 